Today's episode 19 of my regular feature where I share with you my latest purchases from the perfume parlour. Today's a pretty big one with a seven bottle extract spray haul to go through with you and I can tell you that there's some absolute crackers in today's list and I'd say it's prob been probably one of my best shopping sprees that I've had from the perfume parlour in quite some time uh, and I'm pretty excited about sharing these with you today so to find out what delights have uh, got for you in today's episode stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and thank you very much once again for tuning in to this latest Perfume Parlour episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and if this is the first time that you've stumbled across my channel then hello and welcome aboard and if you're uh, looking to purchase your first copy fragrances and need some inspiration then you've definitely come to the right place. Like I said in the intro, I have got some absolute bangers for you today, uh, but before I begin today's rundown, if you are interested in picking up any of these bottles to, uh, that feature in today's video to try out for yourself, uh, you can use my unique discount code to get yourself 10% off your first order, which I'll leave a direct link to down in the description. The link will direct you to a login page and you will be asked to create a login name and a password just to set up an account. But once you've set your account up and you've logged in and made your purchases, your discount will automatically be waiting for you at the checkout. And as always guys, just a quick disclaimer, I don't work for the perfume parlour and this video is in no way sponsored by them in any way. So uh, these opinions that you're about to hear today are my own opinions and I did buy all these fragrances with my own money. I do however receive a, a small commission just for recommending you to their website uh, so just by clicking on the link you'll save you 10% whilst uh, helping me to uh, grow the channel and bring you some more free content in the future. Okay so let's start this haul off with a bang and the first one in today's list is called Old Norse for Men and the perfume palette code on this one is 0686. This one is a copy of Haltain by Parfums de Marley, which came out in 2021 and was originally made exclusively for Harrods and cost over £300, but it is now available from other retailers, but will still set you back around the £250 mark, so definitely not chump change. I paid just £20 for this extract spray, so I'll probably uh, put the £230 saving towards uh, a new TV or something. Uh, the top notes in this one are Clary Sage, Lavender and Bergamot. In the mid we've got Praline and Saffron and the base notes in this are Agar Wood and Cedar. Yeah, so this one is an absolute beast of a fragrance and it opens up with lots of spicy freshness that smells cool, crisp and very green and outdoorsy. The saffron blends well with the bergamot and the wild lavender and the sage to produce a spice bomb like spiciness in the opening and it has an airy wispiness about it. But pretty much right away you'll also pick up on a, a, like an intense woodiness that comes straight through from the base and uh, my word does this smell great when you first spray it. For me it's more of a green, easier to wear version of Oud for Greatness and I also get elements of Polo Green from Ralph Lauren so if you kind of took those two fragrances and merged them together you'd end up with this one. It's very masculine and absolutely perfect for the cooler months of the year but I also think it's bright and airy enough to wear like on a summer evening. It's very versatile and extremely classy and expensive smelling and this is an absolute must to try out if you haven't already uh, got your nose on it. This perfume parlour copy is as always super accurate to the original and performs like an absolute monster which lasts all day. I won't waffle on too much about this one though and I'll let you uh, discover it for yourself but I'd say that this is uh, a good one and a definite one to pick up. Okay so this next one is a brand new creation to the perfume parlour and it goes by the name of Agar Fruit and the perfume parlour code on this one is 1677. This one is a copy of Cherry Oud by Galan which only came out in uh, 2022 so again super quick reproduction of this one from the guys over at the perfume parlour. I managed to smell the original a few weeks ago in Manchester and I absolutely loved it but I just couldn't bring myself to paying the uh, £300 asking price for a, a 100ml size bottle um, so I was really pleasantly surprised to see that this one had uh, become available so quickly and I couldn't uh, add it to my shopping cart quick enough. 
The top notes in this are cherry and fruity notes. In the mid, we've got Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, and the bass notes in this are leather and agar wood. Yes, yeah, so from the first spray of this one, you will definitely be able to instantly pick up on the cherry note and the two different roses in the heart of the scent. And yes, for some of you guys out there, this may start out leaning uh, a touch on the feminine side. And I know people are going to ask if this one smells like uh, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, and the answer to that is no. This is a different take on the cherry note, and it goes off in a very different direction. It's more of a sour cherry that's actually sweetened up by the other notes supporting it, including uh, the other fruity notes, the rose and the leather that's down in the base. As it dries down, you will get more of the leather and some mild woodiness come through, and it then becomes more suitable for guys to pull off. The two rose notes uh, in the heart of the scent produce a silky, soft, velvety texture, but they don't dominate, and you certainly don't get any type of rose accord, and it is the cherry that you're going to pick up on the most. The oud is not very prominent in this one either, uh, but it does like just enough to let you know that it's there, and as is the case with all the other notes, everything in this one is really well balanced and well blended to perfection. There are some obviously obvious similarities to Lom EDLEDP, uh, which is also a powdery scent with like a hint of a cherry like a chord. Uh, but in this one, the cherry is an actual note, so it's more pronounced and more recognisable. Uh, but you do get the same kind of powdery, classy type scent profile that you'll find in the, uh, the Lom EDL. I really love how this one smells and I think it's uh, an absolutely beautiful fragrance uh, to wear casually in the springtime. The performance is good but not great uh, and it does fade away after about the four or five hour mark so I would say give yourself a few extra sprays especially like on your clothes if you want it to last a little bit longer. Uh, but overall a lovely ple pleasant and charming fragrance with an elegant character that would uh, work great as an everyday signature scent to wear uh, as like an office fragrance. Okay, so the third one today is a copy of one of my favourite designer releases from 2022. And again, this is another one that the Perfume Parlour was super quick to replicate and add to their vast product catalogue. This one goes by the name of Quiet Boy, and the Perfume Parlour code on this one is 0663. This one is a copy of Givenchy Gentleman EDP Reserve Privy, which is a mouthful. And I did do a full review of the original on the day it was first launched in the UK, uh, which you can check out in my 365 project uh, in the playlist on the homepage of my channel. Uh, the top note in this is bergamot. Uh, in the mid, we've got iris uh, and chestnut. And the base notes in this are whiskey, woodsy notes and amber. So this is a gorgeous smelling fragrance with a prominent powdery iris note that will remind you a bit of Dior Homme Intense, uh, but for me this is more masculine with much more going on than the Dior. This one also includes one of my favourite fragrance notes which is the chestnut, uh, so you do get a really lovely nuttiness alongside the iris notes, and if that wasn't enough there's also the note of whiskey. So you will pick up on the odd waft of this boozy liquor note too from time to time. And for me this is the definition of a proper gentleman's fragrance which is classy and refined and, and very masculine, uh, it's, it's just a very sexy smelling fragrance. As you get further into the dry down, it does become fairly dark and woody, uh, which to my nose gives off more of a nighttime feel. Uh, but I'd say it is a very versatile scent, uh, and you could also wear this during the day as like a, a really classy work scent, especially if you wear like a sharp suit for your job. I have tested this one side by side with the original, it's very close in terms of its scent accuracy, and it performs really well. The original is uh, not the best performer, and I'd say this perfume parlour copy was a, a touch longer lasting, uh, with more woodiness in the far dry down, and both have uh, like a moderate projection. This is a very safe blind buy, and I think it's uh, a really solid pickup, and one that I'd highly recommend to try out for yourself if you haven't yet got your nose on it. Right, so this next one is one that I actually picked up a while ago and I completely forgot to review it and a, a subscriber to the channel recently asked me if I'd featured it in my next haul video, so here it is. Uh, this one goes by the name of Blue Fruit and the perfume parlour code on this one is 0798. 
This is a copy of Azure Lime from the Tom Ford Private Blend Collection, which is now discontinued. And I recently uh, saw a bottle of the original for sale on eBay, and it was going for over £700 because uh, the original is now as rare as hen's teeth, and you just can't get hold of it. So this one is perfect for anyone who really enjoys this scent DNA but can no longer uh, get their hands on it. The notes in this have been very vague and you can never find it, but according to uh, the perfume parlour, the notes in this are musk, woody notes, floral notes and citruses. Yeah, so this one is a bright, fresh and effervescent smelling scent with obviously the zesty lime note taking centre stage. And this is the only note that you'll pick up on in the opening, which is supported by woody notes and uh, a dusty musk in the base, which provides the depth and longevity when the lime does eventually fade away. It is a, a fairly simple, linear smelling summer fresh fragrance that doesn't really do anything to wow me, uh, but it is very nice and juicy and refreshing and will definitely get the jo uh, job done on a hot sunny day or one to wear at the gym. But in terms of paying the current asking price of over £700 for the original one, you must be joking. Uh, this perfume parlour version is perfect if you're looking for a no-nonsense uh, fresh citrus scent just to throw in your suitcase and take away on holiday with you uh, and it does smell great with an uplifting shower gel type clean scent profile but like I say there's nothing in this that you won't find in 99% of other fresh fragrances so even though I think it's lovely um, and I don't think anybody who ever smells it will dislike it it's just not one that um, I, I would really get excited about the performance is decent enough for a fresh air, and the lime does stick around for longer than I thought it would and you can expect to get four or five hours out of it with a, a decent projection for the first hour or two before it becomes more of a skin scent. This is a, a perfect one to keep in your gym bag so if you are looking for a, a safe sports fragrance uh, this is definitely your fella. Okay, so this next one again is brand new to the perfume parlour and this one goes by the name of Flowing Money and the perfume parlour code on this is 0692. This is a copy of Moola Moola Rouge Extreme from Byron Parfums. The top notes in this are strawberry, cherry and raspberry. In the mid we've got caramel, ginger and rose bay willow herb and in the base we've got agar wood, vanilla, sandalwood and patchouli. So this is a super sweet full bodied fruity gourmand fragrance which opens up with the red berry fruit and lots of the sugary caramel and I'm not going to lie as a general smell it's absolutely beautiful. At first you might think it's a, a bit too sweet, fruity and feminine with all that rich indulgent sweetness going on but as it develops you'll start to pick up on traces of the oud and the patchouli in the base which bring with them uh, a bit of earthiness and more of a, a masculine backbone to the aroma. But even in the far, far dry down there's uh, some creamy vanilla that just keeps that sweetness going right to the very end. I also featured uh, Money Flow from the Perfume Parlour in a previous episode which is a copy of the original Moola Moola and I love this one uh, but I've got to say that after testing them side by side this one is way better in my opinion. It has so much depth and it smells really thick and gooey with a, a pleasant fruitiness and wow this is uh, a really good one that I think both men and women will enjoy in equal measures. If you are uh, into your sweet fruity gourmands you'll absolutely uh, love this one and I reckon uh, that this one is going to be a massive compliment getter when I finally break it out during this springtime. It's very long lasting and has enough projection to get you noticed but not so much that it becomes too sickly sweet in the air. This is a belter and I'm going to have to hide it because uh, I know a few of my uh, friends and family members uh, are eyeing up my bottle and they can uh, look elsewhere because I'm definitely keeping this one. Uh, so yeah, I would say definitely add this one to your next haul if you enjoy this kind of sweet scent profile. Okay, so the penultimate one in today's haul is called Strong Thermometer and the perfume parlour code on this one is 0095. This one is a copy of Fahrenheit Le Parfum from Dior, uh, which again is one that I've reviewed on the channel in my 365 project, but that was a couple of years ago now, and since then I've gone through the whole bottle. Uh, so I thought I'd give this one a go and save myself a few quid replacing my old one. Uh, 
The top notes in this are suede, licorice and Sicilian mandarin. In the mid we've got violet leaf, coriander and cumin and the bass note in this one is bourbon vanilla. Yes, I'm sure most of you, especially if you're of a certain age, will have had some kind of experience with the Fahrenheit product range and I'm sure you'll be familiar with the uh, scent DNA of the original from the 1990s, uh, which is a dark and leathery scent with a, a famous petrol-like smell. And it was uh, a definitely love or hate it kind of aroma. Uh, but in, 90, uh, in uh, 2014, the Le Parfum version came out, which most people would consider to be more refined and more modern smelling than the original. It is uh, still a dark resinous scent with like a, a leathery quality uh, but this is more like a powdery brushed suede. There's also uh, a prominent note of licorice which is quite a dark and resinous note as well as the note of cumin which can come off smelling a bit animalic and off-putting to some people uh, but it's all sweetened up by the uh, the bourbon vanilla in the base and I mainly and mainly kind of what I get from this one is uh, a masculine rock star type fragrance that smells really great and something I'd expect to smell on a man's man, perhaps a biker or a petrol head with a, a love of heavy metal music. It's a dirty, grungy type smell uh, that's about as masculine as it gets and this perfume parlor copy does a fantastic job at replicating the original in the air and I can't tell a difference between this and the original. It's a beast mode performer that will fill a room uh, if you go a little bit too heavy on the sprays and it's one that you, you can still smell on your clothes the following day after you've worn it. This won't be for everyone granted uh, but if you do enjoy the original uh, you'll definitely be impressed by how accurate this perfume parlor one is. And finally, another one that I completely forgot to review after purchasing it, and it's uh, it's been sitting in my collection going undetected for weeks now. And this one goes by the name of Evil Nice Enjoy, and the perfume parlor code on this one is 1943. This is a copy of, let me get this right, Bad Boys Are No Good, But Good Boys Are No Fun by Killian. Which is a tough uh, tough name for an old, like, uh, old man like me to remember, to be fair. Uh, but we got there in the end. Um, this is uh, take number 34, by the way. Uh, so the top notes in this are lime and Coca-Cola. In the mid, we've got nutmeg, apple and cinnamon. And the base notes in this are amber wood and cedar. Okay, so this is a bright, fresh, crisp and clean smelling fragrance with a bit of a spicy kick. And you do get a sweet, refreshing Coca-Cola vibe from it with a, a squeeze of lime from the moment that you spray it on. As it dries down, you'll get some spiciness from the cinnamon and the nutmeg and then some clean woodiness. But for the most part, this is a summer fresh fragrance with a bright and cheerful character. So definitely uh, a good boys fragrance rather than a bad boys one. It's uh, more of an everyday casual dumb reach kind of scent and it has more of a mass appeal in generic designer quality rather than uh, some of Killian's more out there creations and there's uh, absolutely nothing challenging or complex about this one whatsoever. It's very generic and fairly linear and doesn't really change too much as the hours tick by uh, but it's really nice and pleasant and one that will get you plenty of compliments in the summer sun. The performance is average and you may need to reapply this one if you want to get a full day's wear out of it and it projects pretty well for the first hour or two. This is one that I'd uh, highly recommend for younger guys in their late teens and early 20s to like to wear as like a, an everyday signature scent because it does smell good and it's uh, very versatile but it just lacks that little bit of uniqueness for me and uh, personality and I would say personally uh, this kind of falls into the designer blue fragrance genre uh, which is a little bit uninspiring when you're fairly deep into your fragrance journey. Okay, so in summary, uh, the ones that I would say are definite must-own fragrances in today's haul are the Haltain copy that I spoke about first and also the Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé copy. These two are just ultra-safe, masculine-smelling scents that just smell amazing. If you're looking for something that smells more sweet and gourmand and want to smell so good that, that you could eat yourself, then the Moula Moula Rouge copy and the Cherry Oud copy uh, are both really great options. 
The Fahrenheit Le Parfum uh, copy is possibly the most polarising one uh, because I know that over the years I've uh, come across an equal split of people who love it and hate it. Uh, but the Perfume Parlour have created a near perfect copy of that one. So if you do enjoy that scent DNA, it's definitely worth picking up and saving yourself 50 or 60 quid. And finally, the Killian Bad Boys copy and the Azure Lime copies are, are both really nice summer fresh fragrances, which both smell lovely in their own right. But they they are just freshes for your gym bag, in my opinion, rather than ones that uh, that are blowing me away uh, with their uniqueness. Yeah, so that's about it for this latest episode and I am going to put the copy fragrances on hold now for a couple of weeks and uh, return to reviewing some more uh, original designer and niche fragrances. But I will be back with uh, haul number 20 sometime in the uh, next few weeks. I hope you have uh, lots of fun discovering some new signature scents uh, and if you have uh, found this video in any way useful then please don't forget to give it a like and also to subscribe to the channel and that way you won't miss any of my future uploads. So once again thank you very much once again for tuning in today, stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.